Hi, this is David Savile. Now I want to talk to you about the impossible. You know, this is something I'm very passionate about, about having impossible dreams, visions that you actually live into. So it's not some lofty goal that you think one day you'll get to. Once you connect to something you're excited by, then it's about who you become today in, in search of that. Because you never know if you're ever going to achieve anything you've ever set out. Because you don't know if you'll be alive. You don't know what may come along the way that may change your mind about where you want to go. However, if it excites you and you're passionate about it, in going for it, you become who you need to be. In fact, it's more about removing all the shit you put in the way that stops you being who you need to be. Um, and that's why I love impossible goals. You know, possible goals have a kind of, almost generally, people don't feel good if they're not achieving it, because it's possible, right? They know they can do it. So it's almost like while I'm here and I'm not over there, I'm gonna be, there's the gap between me and there is the problem. When it's impossible, when it's seemingly impossible, the gap is irrelevant because it's fucking impossible, right? So that's not important. What's important is this, living through the attainment of the impossible. Now I'd like to talk to you about a good friend of mine, Zach Polanski. I've known him for a few years. He, I met him on the beginning of my personal development journey about seven years ago. Now, he is an incredible guy. I mean, he's a hypnotherapist, actor, counsellor, mentor, politician, and all kinds of a dancer, a singer, choir singer. This guy is like the every, he's like Leonardo da Vinci in his ability to apply himself to, to, his, to what he loves and to create a life that he loves, doing, doing a range of things that he enjoys. He's a great example of that. Now, I met him last week for lunch, first time I've seen him in a while, and he was telling me about his adventures in politics. Um, he's joined the Liberal Democrats. Um, regardless of your political leanings, just listen to the lesson of this. Um, and he wanted to go for something called the GLA list, at London list elections. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really understand the details of all these different elections, but essentially he'd be representing part of London. Um, if he won. Now, he'd never done it before. There were 16 candidates, and they said they reckon they reckoned he'd be lucky to get in the top 12, but was unlikely. Um, now, in addition to this, each member is allowed about six and a half thousand pounds to promote themselves, you know, leaflet campaigns, you know, to, to maybe enroll people to support them, that kind of thing. Now, he's very much, he doesn't like the, that side of it. He thinks it'd be better for everyone to be more egalitarian. So you don't have, because obviously he could raise that money, but then that's money being taken for advertising, essentially, um, and he's not happy with that. So whilst everyone else spent close to 7,000 per person, he spent around 100 pounds, okay? Now, what, now there are, I think there are about 10,000 people who could potentially vote in this election. Um, so whilst everyone, the other members were doing their leafleting, were using, you know, they had, no, they've been around for a lot longer than him. So they had already had a support network in place. Now, he managed, well, I'll tell you what he did first. For one month, he, he lived and breathed um, his message. So he was on the phone from morning to night. He wasn't eating. He was, he'd forget to go to the toilet. He was just on a fucking mission. To, to speak to as many people as possible and to just introduce himself and to help to find out what they need so that he could deliver the best he could. Now he would, he, in that 30 days, he spoke to two and a half thousand people. So that's one quarter of the 10,000. And this was all by himself, by the way. He didn't recruit anyone else to help him, which actually probably held him back a little bit because he was trying to do it on his own. Uh, which he admits to now, um, because even though the personal touch is so important, actually having a team around him of passionate people, you know, well, could have, could, you know, who knows where he could have got to, because he got sixth, six out of 16, first election he's ever done, um, just by picking up the phone and speaking person after person after person. And in the end, he was only about, I think, 40 votes away from getting in the top three. Um, which, is, which must be so frustrating, right? However, the achievement of what he did all by himself, two and a half thousand conversations in 30 days. Now that's commitment to a goal, right? That's, commit, that's, that's going for the impossible. And he achieved it too. And, and he knows he could have even gone further now, which is exciting. And he did it without spending money, without having the support network that other people had. 
Um, so Zach, you are an inspiration and I'm hoping that people watching this, I hope as you watch this, you will get something from this. Are you, have you got something that you want bad enough that you're willing to speak to two and a half thousand people in 30 days? Um, or, you know, your own relevant example of that. You know, for me with my business in the early days particularly, it was me just messaging person after person, reaching out again and again and again. Um, creating value for as many people as possible, coaching fucking hundreds of people. You know, for me, that was my passion and that was me seeking the impossible, right, to go from full-time job to a fully created life within a year. Um, that's what I did um, and I did it through commitment. Now, if I'd have showed his commitment, which his is even way beyond me and done that in 30 days, who knows what I'd have created. Um, it's not what I choose to do, um, but, I, you know, if I... If I want to get to a new level in something, I am willing to put that level of commitment in. Um, and just knowing it's possible, knowing that Zach did that, makes it more possible for me, makes it possible for you. So what do you want and what action is your equivalent of phoning two and a half thousand people in 30 days? Post in the comments below or message me directly because I'd fucking love to know. Um, because I'm always excited by people who are going for the impossible. Um, so yeah, seek the impossible, be the impossible. Take care.